Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Fairy Tale My Lord is the God. Chapter 51. Boom. In the distant sky, a golden meteor galloped forward, slashing across the sky, dividing the dark sky into two parts, burning the sky like a scorching flame, as beautiful as a dream, and converging with the roar of thunder. Call out. The figure flew like a cannonball, rubbing violently with the surrounding air, making a sharp and sharp sound, coming from far to near in an instant. In this scene, everyone raised their heads and looked up at the sky, and then everyone's complexion changed, and their eyes moved with the whereabouts of the golden figure. Flash kick. This light, a blow that penetrated the sky and the earth, pierced the dark night, and was extremely bright. Boom. The moment the golden figure hit nine tails, the originally condensed tailed beast bomb had a slight disturbance in its energy. It exploded like a bomb, and hot flames spewed out, instantly turning the civilian area into a sea of fire, burning everything. Immediately afterwards, the earth trembled again, and black cracks spread like snakes everywhere, landslides and ground fissures, and a radius of 100 meters suddenly collapsed, forming a huge pit, and many burning houses were swallowed into the deep of potholes. For a moment, gravel was scattered and dust was flying. When many ninjas saw this scene, sweat forced out from their foreheads, their heart palpitated, and it was difficult to calm down the shocking mood. Fortunately, everyone took advantage of 4th Hokage Namikaze Minato to fight the enemy and move the civilians to other places in time, otherwise, just this one, the consequences. Cannot imagine. The 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, who arrived in time, and the ninjas of the major families behind them stopped at this moment with extremely solemn expressions. Looking at the center of the pothole, waves of intimidating coercion seemed to be swept in at any time. In addition to nine tails, there seemed to be a more terrifying guy. Seru Tobi Hirazan frowned, his eyes flashed with strange colors, trying to see through the dust that was lifted up. This, what the heck is going on here? Also, what is that golden streamer just now? All of this came too suddenly, and the doubts of the ninjas could not help. Not to mention the astonishment on Namikaze Minato's face, even Uchiha Obito didn't expect that he just came to Konoha to cause such a thing to happen. Call. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew, and the dust dispersed. Alala, this guy's head is really hard, and my feet hurt a little. It's really unpleasant. A wretched voice came, which surprised the ninjas who had just breathed a sigh of relief the nerves immediately tense, and all of a sudden a lot of alertness. Who? A series of sharp eyes, crisscrossed in the void, pointed directly to the direction of the sound. The flaming flames all around, swaying with the wind, lit up the faint light of the night, and through the light, everyone saw the situation inside the pothole. Soon, everyone's expressions changed. Hearing that, a man dressed in a strange costume, like a sword, stood straight above Ninetail's head, Swaying his right foot carelessly, with a wretched smile hanging from the corner of his mouth, he didn't pay any attention to the gazes of other people beside him. After shaking his right foot a few times, Kazaru's eyes flashed, he raised his head slightly, looked around, his smile deepened, and then he waved his hand and greeted the ninjas present. Yo, good evening, everyone. It's the first time we meet. I don't know if it scares you. In Pelusolino, of course, I prefer you to call me Kazaru. As he spoke, Kazaru's eyes moved slightly, and his eyes finally focused on Uchiha Obito, sizing up. Is this the ninja that is required to be defeated in the main god mission? Those special eyes are a bit interesting. If you beat it, you will get 3000 points, and if you kill it, you will get 5000 points. So, which one is more cost effective to choose? Hey hey, I hope this guy is not too weak. Kazaru is very confident. Although the ninja ability in this world is very strange, he still doesn't take it seriously. A mere cage level ninja. Comparable to the average rear admiral or vice admiral at best. Who are you? One of the three admiral candidates of the dignified marine, he is also a person with the ability to swallow the fruit of light. Among the many strong people, he can be regarded as an arrogant existence. At this moment, Kazaru was looking at Uchiha Obito, and Uchiha Obito was also looking at him. Although he didn't know why the mysterious guy in front of him kept staring at him, the moment he made eye contact, his hair stood upright, and he shuddered. A sense of oppression came over him. Shock. Complete shock. Is there a match with the Uchiha Madara I saw at the beginning? 
Uchiha Obito was shocked, and his thoughts were full of thoughts, and his heart was like a river overturned, astonished and suspicious. The strength of this guy, could it be that? That's right, Uchiha Obito guessed that the Kazaru in front of him was a powerhouse beyond cage level. This guess almost made Uchiha Obito's heart shake, his pupils shrank slightly, and his body trembled a few times. How can, how can this place have a kind of scary guy? Uchiha Madara is super cage level. Uchiha Obito is deeply touched by his strength. With just a hint of momentum, he can knock himself back. Such an existence is now, eyeing him. Uchiha Obito was unwilling, his nails dig deeply into his palm, and a trace of blood came out. He never imagined that there would be variables in his plan. The appearance of Kazaru disrupted his overall plan. Many ninjas were in a commotion, their faces showed a trace of fear, and their expressions were very solemn. Just a few breaths ago, in the vertical and horizontal void, the intertwined gazes of the ninjas left on Kazaru for a moment, an indescribable tidal wave of terror swept away, impacting the body and mind of everyone present, causing them to give birth. A chilling sense of crisis. The body is instinctively alert, telling himself that the person in front of him is not to be messed with and it is extremely dangerous. What's more, they don't even know why this guy named Kazaru came here. In their impressions, among the film villages in various countries, there is no name of a strong person who can match the name of this person. There is only a blank doubt, which is deeply puzzled. Kazaru, like it appeared out of nowhere, is very mysterious. Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, with flickering eyes, waved his hands to signal the ninjas of the major families to calm down stepped forward with a hint of caution in his eyes, then took a deep breath and said to Kazaru, why did you come here? Konoha village. I'm just an unnamed junior. You can treat me as someone who sees the way and draws a knife to help me. I don't ask for anything in return, and you don't have to thank me. I'll be embarrassed, hee <laughs> hee. Kazaru looked at Serutobi Hiraz and glanced at him, shrugged, and said with a smile, revealing a touch of white fang as if he could never change this vulgar personality, and he always deserved a beating. Puff, Serutobi Hirazan's body trembled, and he slammed into his chest with a heavy blow. His blood was surging, and he wanted to vomit blood. Especially, I have never seen such a shameless person. Unnamed Junior, he he, a strong man like you, why don't you blush when you tell this lie? Such a guy can also become a strong man, but there is no reason for it. After hearing this sentence, everyone also felt contempt in their hearts, but there was no other change on the surface. They just buried their inner dissatisfaction deep in their hearts. Although they were suspicious, no ninja had the courage to step forward. Go forward and question. I really don't have the guts. Of course, if there is any ninja who is not afraid of death and wants to provoke Kazaru, you can give it a try. Consequences, huh, conceit. For them, Kazaru standing in front of them is very strong, very strong. Able to suppress nine tails with a single blow, even with a little sneak attack, his strength must be at least the peak of cage level. The existence of the peak, generally within a few tricks, can't cause any qualitative damage in the face of tailed beasts. Roar. At this moment, nine tails let out a low roar, the fierceness in his eyes skyrocketed, and he stood up angrily. Kazaru kicked him in the head. Until now, his mind was still confused. When he thought about being attacked by someone, Ninetales couldn't help but feel furious and angry. The flames are like waves, and they are burning. This guy is still not convinced, he he. Kazaru smiled indifferently, looking at Ninetales under him, there was a slight movement, he didn't panic, he lifted his leg and it was a kick, with armament hockey blessing, covering his right leg. Boom. The dazzling golden rays of light gathered together, condensed at the toes, and then shot out suddenly. The golden light flashed like a dragon waving its claws, smashing through half of Ninetales' head. Slashed like a sword, from the beginning to the end, cut across, without a trace of blood splattered. The golden light was brilliant, and the air boiled, engulfing half of Ninetales' body and turning it into nothingness. Boom. Everyone only felt that the ground swayed a few times, and their bodies were a little unstable, like a landslide, and after the shaking stopped, all the ninjas changed their expressions, swallowed, and stared at this scene in stunned silence. Is this really the peak strength of cage level? The previous guess was completely wrong. Super shadow, definitely super cage level. 
At this moment, first Hokage, who is like a belief in their hearts, is no more than a little, and his heart is touched, and he is very uneasy. Even Uchiha Obito was shocked as if he was overturned, watching all this in disbelief. Is this his super cage level strength? This, isn't this too strong? It is estimated that if the five cage levels unite and shoot together, they are far inferior to a super shadow, and the disparity is too great. No wonder that Senju Hashirama, who single-handedly calmed down the Sengoku era, was called by everyone as, God of Ninjas. Such strength, such strength is too terrifying, like a real god. At this moment, Namikaze Minato was equally shocked and his face was heavy. First, the masked man released nine tails, and then came this guy named Kazaru. He was as strong as a monster, and even nine tails was no match for him. What day is it tonight? One after another, the gods of plague have come, obviously it is my big day, but now, everything is ruined. It's all my fault, if I hadn't been so weak, how could I not be able to protect you? Kashina, Naruto, Namikaze Minato secretly resented, hating that he was not strong enough. Even if he once dominated the three battles and dominated the entire battlefield, what if the major shadow villages that he killed were terrified? It's not strong enough to despise all ninjas, so there are so many young people who come to provoke themselves. This is Namikaze Minato, the first time he feels a desire for strength, eager to protect his relatives, friends, and everything around him. What? Not reconciled. At this time, the voice of the Lord God came from Kazaru's ear. Ding. Main quest 1, defeat the runaway nine tails, the quest is completed, the reward is 8000 points, and it has been put into the reincarnator's backpack. After listening, there was a twinkle in his eyes color, and quickly calmed down. Hey, I scared you guys, I'm sorry, I didn't control my strength by accident, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kazaru said carelessly, still with a hint of wretchedness in his tone. Then, with a, whoosh, sound, the figure suddenly turned into a golden light, and it left the top of Nine Tails' head in an instant. After a few flashes, it came to Uchiha Obito. This move undoubtedly made many ninjas nervous, including third generation and fourth Hokage. What is this for? Joint cooperation. Still is. You must know that a masked man has almost destroyed the entire Konoha. If two people join forces, all the ninjas present will shoot, it is estimated that it will not have much effect. The strength of Kazaru is obvious to all. Simply horrible. At this time, Uchiha Obito's pupils shrank slightly. Under the shock of Kazaru's powerful momentum, a trace of sweat appeared on his forehead, and his face turned pale. Something is wrong. Others don't know Kazaru's mind, but in Uchiha Obito's eyes, it's different. Seeing a strange gleam in Kazaru's eyes from a short distance away, his back suddenly felt cold, and his heart felt like a trough. Those smiling eyes are like a crescent moon, especially the golden flames in the pupils, beating one after another, like a restrained fierce glow, it is definitely not a friendly look. If you let Uchiha Obito know the minds of other ninjas, you must secretly curse, so why should you cooperate? Obviously to kill. A trace of killing intent emanated from Kazaru. Although it was very light, it made Uchiha Obito tremble, and his hair stood upright, as if he was facing a great enemy. You can feel the icy killing intent in the air, which is extremely dangerous. Seemingly aware of Uchiha Obito's hesitation, Kazaru smiled and said, Ala, don't be so nervous, I'm afraid I won't eat you, what's your name? While talking, he walked slowly, with a languid aura that made one feel no sense of crisis at all as if he had suddenly become an ordinary person. Uchiha Obito didn't say a word. As Kazaru approached step by step, Uchiha Obito's face suddenly became solemn, his eyes were cold, and he stared at Kazaru closely. The chakra in his body was running rapidly, and he was ready to retreat at any time. Although Chaoying is very strong, he is best at time and space ninjutsu, which can melt into the void, but at least he can escape from Konoha. At this time, seeing that Uchiha Obito did not reply, Kazaru was not angry either. I have seen many such problem children in the pirate world, and it is not bad for one or two. He chuckled twice. He he. However, before taking a few steps, an exclamation suddenly came from the side, and someone shouted, The big thing is bad, Nine Tails is resurrected again. What? Hearing this, many ninjas blurted out, 
their expressions changed drastically, and then they became alert one by one. It has always been said that the tailed beast has an immortal body, but it will take some time to think about it, but I never thought it would be so fast. At this moment, Kazaru froze subconsciously, and was equally surprised in his heart. Nine tails, not dead. Impossible. At that time, I was clearly sure that it was dead, but I was cut in half by myself, and half of its body was gone. You know, I used armament hockey this time, and ate my flash kick, not to mention nine tails. This dazzling blow alone is powerful enough to blow up a 100 meter thick mountain, which is still my best effort constrained results. Isn't this dead? Kazaru frowned, and the wrinkle was very deep. He turned around and wanted to confirm the answer. After a few breaths, his complexion suddenly changed. After a long breath, he rubbed his chin with his right hand and muttered to himself. Ale, can you survive like this, can you be immortal? The species in this world are really interesting. It's a bit like the ability of Logia's devil fruit, which is elementalized. See, see, I saw that a red chakra mist spewed out from the cracked ground, like the Yangtze River, and then slowly rose into the sky condensed and did not disperse, the air was sticky. Thickened up. In the nine tails in the big pit, half of the body seems to have melted, the red chakra wanders, sweeping the entire ground, condensing the body little by little, and the speed recovers very quickly. In the blink of an eye, nine tails was full of blood and resurrected. Especially this time, nine tails bright red eyes, red and purple, and purple bright, were like the eyes of a violent and unparalleled demon, born in the world. More violent than before, more out of control. Roar. Nine tails roared in bursts, different from before, this low roar gradually increased in urgency, from slow to fast, and even had a feeling of thunder bursting, as if it shattered the earth and shattered the sky. Nine long tails, standing upright, swayed with the wind, and the rolling heat wave came down, forming a really strong airflow. At this moment, the aura skyrocketed, and an astonishing violent aura spread from the blood-red nine tails, causing everyone to feel unstable. Even Kazaru, who had a lazy face originally, moved his mouth slightly, revealing a contemplative smile, and stared at nine tails with interest. Nine tails is like the overlord of the nine heavens, with those scarlet red eyes, his eyes coldly swept across the heaven and the earth, swept past everyone present, completely ignoring them, his pupils suddenly stood up, and then he roared a few times, as if eagerly looking for something. Wait, it seems, something is wrong. The sharp-eyed ninja frowned and said. What's wrong, you read it wrong. Is it? There was a trace of confusion in the ninja's eyes. Nine tails didn't take us seriously at all. Besides, it's still third Hokage and fourth Hokage here. The sky is falling, and there are tall people on it. What are you afraid of? At this moment, Ninetales' aura became more and more violent, as if there was a force in his body that had nowhere to vent. Landslides and fissures. For a while. Some hot eyes. Ninetales, what are you doing? At this moment, everyone was completely stunned and dumbfounded. Everyone just felt that the world was changing too fast, they were dumbfounded, and some couldn't believe it. Everyone swallowed their saliva and watched with palpitations. This, this. Uchiha Obito looked at the scene in front of him, speechless in astonishment. Maybe for the first time in history. Should, ahem. Namikaze Minato's lips were white, and if he really knew that Nine Tails still had this habit, he wouldn't have sealed it in Kashina's body. Far away in the magical world, Leon's expression has been stunned. My heart is a little dazed, and for the time being, I haven't recovered. What a terrible pill. What's so special, hot eyes. One more today. Kazaru's eyes widened, he swallowed his saliva with difficulty, his face showed a look of disbelief, and thousands of huge waves rolled up in his heart, and it was difficult to calm down for a long time, even if it was him, in the pirate world, what kind of big scene never seen it. But Kazaru was stunned, standing there dumbfounded, motionless, a little dazed. Kazaru took a deep breath, forced himself to calm down, and looked at nine tails with meaningful eyes. He never thought that one day, he would see such a loving and conscientious scene. It's still my own world, the air is so fresh, and there are not so many tunes. Alas, the scene in front of me is so cruel, so cruel. Even the earth refuses to let go. Never seen before. Unheard of. The species in this world, it's really terrible, to actually do this in the public eye. 
It's right to have hot eyes, it's simply lawless. At this moment, Nine Tails roared, obviously in a state of extreme excitement, the sky-high momentum cut through the dark night, tore a huge hole, the galaxy returned, the stars shone, the wind and clouds stirred, and amazing storms emerged out of nowhere and swept across the whole world was shaken, causing everyone to retreat a few steps. Crack, crack, this is like the crashing sound of waves, like muffled thunder, wave after wave of explosions in the ears of everyone, one after another, squirming up and down, very rhythmic. Look, there are a lot of thick and long cracks on the ground. Under the fierce power of nine tails, the strong movements are like a drunken man who beats the weak woman, and bows hard on the overlord. Yes, best of luck. If the earth could speak, it would burst out such a foul language. Proud girl. At this time, from nine tails' passionate mouth, bursts of cheerful low-pitched roars were released. The voice was full of joy and satisfaction, as if the excitement of asterisk 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 had reached its peak. Over the entire Konoha, it even spread for dozens of miles. Countless people heard this sound, raised their heads, looked at the source of the sound, and were extremely puzzled, not knowing what happened. The ninjas standing beside nine tails were silent and sighed, not knowing what to say, and had no thought of stepping forward to stop them, but looked alert and seemed to be waiting for something. For the ninjas, without the order of Lord Hokage, once the nine tails who are out of control are angered, it is impossible to guarantee that they will not do anything terrible, and the consequences will be disastrous. Right now, nine tails is still in a state of incomparable excitement, the blood like scarlet in his eyes, and there is no sign of a sharp decrease in the slightest. Looking at this posture, it will not stop for a while, and it will not stop for two or three hours. The fighter, the persistent machine in the fighter. The best chance is that after nine tails vents, there will be a certain state of weakness. Although there is a certain despicableness, and you have to watch this hot-eyed scene, as long as there is less sacrifice of ninjas, everything is worth it. Everyone resisted the nausea in their hearts and stared at nine tails, ready at any time. And the most nauseating thing in my heart is Namikaze Minato. His face is sad, but his heart is full of regrets. I didn't expect that Nine Tails, who is famous in the ninja world, would have such a hobby. How could someone put it in Kashina's body in the first place? When Nine Tails is unwilling to be lonely, take a look at how rude and violent Tread is at this time. Namikaze Minato seemed to have thought of something, his body trembled, and there was a shivering feeling in his heart. Why is there a kind of unhappy, still very unhappy? Ee. -e. At this moment, Kazaru shook his head helplessly, coughed twice, opened his eyes, turned behind him, and looked at Uchiha Obito. Allah, since it is an immortal existence, then the troublesome thing will be ignored, anyway, the main line task, has been completed, the next task too, hee hee. Kazaru smiled slyly, narrowed his eyes to form a slit, and a trace of ruthlessness flashed in his eyes, suddenly boiling with murderous intent. At this moment, Uchiha Obito was stunned for a moment, and there was a trace of uneasiness in his heart. When he came back to his senses, he realized where the restlessness in his heart came from. He looked at Kazaru's eyes, and suddenly there was an unparalleled killing intent, such as heavy like a tsunami, it surged. The murderous aura expanded, the space condensed in an instant, the temperature of the air dropped a lot, and the cold wind howled. Very cold, very cold. No, just looking at nine tails, I actually forgot about this guy named Kazaru. Uchiha Obito's face was solemn, and he saw through Kazaru's murderous intention at a glance. Feel bad. Before he had time to think about anything, Uchiha Obito glanced at nine tails, endured the pain, and then ran away. At this time, he couldn't care about nine tails or nine tails. If he wanted to survive, he had to escape from Konoha, otherwise. It's really dangerous, I can't say it will die. The plan can't be changed, but it's a pity that this great opportunity has already been planned, but I never thought that there were variables outside the chessboard, which suddenly destroyed the whole plan. Uchiha Obito complained about Kazaru in his heart that he didn't come early or late, but he was tyrannizing Konoha's time, which also made Uchiha Obito want to kill Kazaru, but unfortunately he didn't have the strength. Seeing that Uchiha Obito escaped from here and ran to the forest beside the leaves, Kazaru knew what Uchiha Obito had planned, but he was not in a hurry, it's over, he he, he thought he could escape the palm of the old man's heart. Ahem, it's a pity, I made a mistake. 
Kazaru smiled lightly, a hint of drama appeared in his eyes, and he secretly smacked his tongue. The saddest thing in the world is that the guy who fights with you doesn't know the ability of the other side. Run as fast as you can, but unfortunately I have observation hockey. What a poor little guy. Although you have some talent, but who made your mission target, you can only blame yourself for your bad luck. Kazaru's eyes skyrocketed, his hands spread out, his body rose again, the invisible air was used as a staircase, the whole person rose to the sky, standing in the air, Marine's robe swayed, his breath was as heavy as Wang Yang, incomparably mighty and unfathomable. In an instant, Kazaru's figure was like a golden light, like the sun under the bright moon, standing in the sky, and his sword cut through the darkness that covered the sky and the sun. Step by step, one step across the sky, the air set off a violent frenzy, bursting with bright and bright brilliance, like a holy lotus blooming, illuminating all things, dispelling the boundless chill. At this moment, Kazaru's body is as straight as a pine tree, his eyes are dark and dark, and his face is flat, like a demigod standing in the sky, standing proudly, with boundless majesty. At this moment, countless ninjas shook their hearts, raised their heads, their expressions changed slightly, and there was a hint of shock in their eyes. That's right, there is a bit of disbelief on his face with abrupt regret. In their view, the breath in the sky, if it exists or not, does not seem like a mortal person, it is boundless and boundless, the vast galaxy is as heavy as a mountain, and it cannot be pondered. If the momentum of Nine Tails is full of violence and uncontrollable like thunder, in the case of Rampage, it is impossible to display Nine Tails' true strength by being arrogant alone. In contrast, Kazaru's aura is incomparable to Lan Lan, as fast as lightning, and the thunder can't reach 360, like a phantom, very trance. The super shadow of the Hokage world is equivalent to the admiral of the pirate world. During the period, there are strong and weak. Just like the holy wizard in the magical world, it is divided into elementary, middle and high school. After all, it was an aura that surpassed cage level, evoking the power of heaven and earth, far beyond people's imagination, majestic and menacing, like the autumn wind sweeping leaves, sweeping the whole world in an instant. This terrifying momentum is incomparably vast, like a star, in the dark night, it is very dazzling and eye-catching. The world of ninjas is neither big nor small. In particular, this imposing manner is so high that it is like a rainbow, and it still alarms many ninjas in various forces at once. In the five major ninja villages standing in the ninja world, the other four shadows are sharp and seem to have sensed something. They stopped what they were doing, looked at the land of Konoha like a torch, and there was a hint of doubt in their hearts. Strange. Such strong fluctuations. Somewhere in the dark. An aging figure, in the dark, with a hint of loneliness. In the eyes of others, it is like a stubborn rock, motionless, if not for the ups and downs of breathing, it seems that it is really old and dead. The breath is dying, it is very indifferent, and there is an old-fashioned wood, the breath of dying, and one step into the gate of hell at any time. The man slumped on the chair, his figure moved slightly, his closed eyes suddenly opened, and a ray of hot essence shot out, extremely fierce, beating in his eyes. The air vibrated violently, and the space was forcibly torn apart by some strange force, and the air of nothingness swept the thousands of troops and raged everywhere. This power, this power, does it mean that? There was an exclamation in the darkness, followed by a sigh, and then the figure flickered and disappeared suddenly. On the ground, there was only a mess of ruins left, spreading a hundred meters away, and it started to crack and sag from the middle. Konoha Village. Seeing this scene of Kazaru's shot, everyone showed a stunned expression. What's going on? Is there going to be a fight? This heavy breath, I can hardly breathe. I thought this guy named Kazaru was with the masked man. Looking at it now, I don't think so much. Huh, what a terrible guy, he doesn't look like a human being. Some ninjas said that the terrifying momentum overshadowed the, sun, demeanor of nine tails in one fell swoop. Many people swallowed their saliva, and their hearts, Safai, had lingering fears. And third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, standing beside him, was in a trance and murmured. First Hokage is just like that. Young people these days are all perverts, so is Namikaze Minato, and the Kazaru in front of you is even better. Serutobi Hirazan was quite emotional, and there was a flash of reminiscence of his youth in his eyes. Namikaze Minato looked up at the starry sky, 
looked at Kazaru's figure, clenched his fists, and his eyes suddenly narrowed. If only I could have such power. In the sky, Kazaru looked at Uchiha Obito in the distance with a condescending look in his eyes. Allah, let this old man hurry up and give you the final blow. It wasted a lot of time, and it's time to end the curtain. Normal throughput. As he said that, the teasing in Kazaru's eyes deepened, like a cat catching a mouse, he didn't care about Uchiha Obito's dying struggle. And in the next instant, Kazaru's body suddenly turned into a beam of light, his hands were spread out, and he pushed together in front of him. Ohm. A golden light lit up between the heavens and the earth, dazzling golden rays of light gathered from all directions, the air seemed to be scorched, turned into a sun, and burned the sky. It's so strong, how can it be so strong? Uchiha Obito stomped his feet, his speed increased a lot, and his heart became more and more anxious. He felt the huge energy behind him, as if the next the void can be shattered in seconds, and the heavens and the earth are reversed, shaking the universe. Uchiha Obito felt in a trance that someone was about to lift his neck, and was threatened by the breath of death. A sense of crisis is gradually approaching. Eight-foot Chongo Jade. As soon as the voice fell, the sky suddenly brightened, and the ocean formed by countless bright golden glows turned sharply down like a violent storm. Thunder spewed out, and a force that destroyed the world was suppressed. Boom, boom, boom. Between the heavens and the earth, the golden rays of light formed a line, shaking the space, and countless dazzling light bombs poured down like a meteor shower. In an instant, the forest was hit by a frantic blow, and the golden laser swept through everything, covering the entire forest with the trend of destroying the dead and turning the dead. For a time, countless explosions roared, resounding in the sky, and smoke of gunpowder was everywhere, as if the end of the world was coming. Horror scene, terrifying. At this time, everyone was shocked. The forest set off a prairie fire and turned into a sea of boiling fire. It was hit by Kazaru's eight-foot Chongo Jade, which was almost destructive. Even after more than ten years, it would be difficult for this place to recover. A piece of dead ruins, sporadic fire, like a dragon in the abyss, making noises, the smoke of gunpowder fills the air for a long time. Kazaru, who was standing in the air, patted his head and said indifferently with a long tone. Oops, oh, I didn't expect to overdo it, forget it, it's not my world anyway, hee <laughs> hee, I helped them solve this trouble, the ninjas below will still appreciate me, just don't know if that guy is dead. Having said this, Kazaru's tone paused and his eyes narrowed slightly. If the Lord God didn't prompt, then he didn't die. Hee <laughs> hee. Kazaru waved, stagnant, stopped the attack, and observation hockey swept, sensing where Uchiha Obito was at this moment. Whoosh. Following the direction of perception, Kazaru's mind moved, and his body turned into a golden light, which shot straight away like a long rainbow. A few flashes, which could be called teleportation, stood above the forest. This time, under the perception of observation hockey, the image capture became clearer. Under. A small figure galloped across the ruins of the forest. That windy man was Uchiha Obito, striding with the wind, stalking rapidly, and thundering like lightning. The speed is very fast, of course not as fast as Kazaru's speed of light, but it should not be underestimated. With a step of more than 10 meters, it is like sliding in the sky. Along the way, there was a vacuous white mark, which was very faint and disappeared very quickly. Kazaru looked down, a strange color flashed in his eyes, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Hee <laughs> hee, Uchiha Obito is not dead. What's more, looking at this full of energy, this keen movement. Rather than saying that he didn't die, it would be better to say that he was safe and sound, as if his eight-footed Chongoyu did not cause any harm to him at all. This is interesting. Huang Yi touched his chin with one hand, thinking and pondering, how did Uchiha Obito escape his attack? Weird. Does this world also have elementalization? Or, what? Seeming to see something, Kazaru couldn't help but coughed and his eyes narrowed slightly. Uchiha Obito traverses all the way, and his figure is like a hollow. In the redundant space, it is solid for a while, and phantom for a while, changing back and forth and swaying. Such a scene made Kazaru feel a little surprised. The ability of space. Alara, this is a little troublesome, no wonder I can escape my attack. If that's the case, the old man has to be really serious, I hope I can leave a whole corpse, it's too cruel and not good. Quote. 
Kazaru sneered, his eyes slightly more solemn. Instead of using the long-range laser attack, he suddenly flashed and came to Uchiha Obito at an incredible speed. In an instant, Kazaru armament hockey solidified, covered his legs, raised his right foot, and kicked in an arc to hit Uchiha Obito. Speed is power. Have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? A familiar voice came from his ears, and Uchiha Obito was startled. He turned his head and looked to the side, only to see the cold color in Kazaru's eyes, and the figure was close in front of him. Kazaru seems to have planned early, the time period for Uchiha Obito to switch from reality to reality. At this time, Uchiha Obito just changed into a physical state. In just one or two seconds, it was too late for Hollow to melt into the void. Not good. Uchiha Obito secretly said, boom. Kazaru kicked Uchiha Obito's body, like a bomb, it exploded violently, the airwave oscillated, the golden light slammed into the distance, the ground shook, and a big deep pit was blown up. What happened? The moment Kazaru was kicking, he suddenly felt Uchiha Obito in front of him, his breath had changed, and his body was still a body, but it felt. The one who was kicked didn't look like a human, but it was similar, very vague. A very strange feeling. Just as Kazaru frowned and doubts arose in his heart, Uchiha Obito's body in front of him swayed, a crisp, click, sounded, and it slowly disappeared. Not a trace of bloodline. Comma. It just disappeared without a sound. What? What is this ability? Seeing this scene, Kazaru was suddenly shocked. What he kicked was actually a materialized afterimage, and he was able to hide from his observation hockey, which was unbelievable. At this time, the wind beside him slapped, and a long rumbling sound came, and several huge Uzumaki were born out of thin air. In just a few breaths, the flame turbine exploded, like a fire dragon inviting to swim in the void, quickly igniting the air, burn everything. The fire path, the storm dances wildly, give me death. At the next moment, a cold voice appeared in Kazaru's ear, and the murderous aura burst out like a tide. Boom. After the violent expansion of the monstrous flames, as if being torn apart, an earth-shattering explosion suddenly occurred, and the whole world was like a whirlwind of flames, engulfing Kazaru's body, and the scorching high temperature swept out violently, like an extremely high temperature. A terrifying storm shatters the earth. This powerful vibrational force spread to Konoha, the ground was shaking, shaking violently, not inferior to a real earthquake. Everyone looked in horror, looking at the place where the two were fighting. At this moment, Uchiha Obito looked gloomy, frowned, looked at the burning sea of fire, and said uncertainly in his heart. Is it dead? However, in the next second, in the scorching flames, in the depths of the flames, golden stars flickered and flickered. D. A dazzling beam of light shot out from the raging flame, and the intense energy directly penetrated Uchiha Obito's chest. The golden laser bombarded the ground, slashing a crack about a hundred meters long. Puff! Uchiha Obito vomited a few mouthfuls of blood, and his figure instantly flew into the distance. It's really dangerous to laugh at and laugh at. It seems that no matter what world you are in, you can't underestimate anyone. If you're not careful, it's easy to be tricked by others. Kazaru walked out of the sea of fire slowly and unscathed, as if the scene just now had no effect on Kazaru and suffered any injuries. However, at this time, Kazaru was very frightened, and there was a trace of cold sweat on his forehead, and a look of lingering fear flashed across his eyes. Only he knew the danger at that time. If he was not a Logia fruit person, he would be someone else. Ah. Thanks to the elementalization of glitter fruit. Even so, it made Kazaru very upset. He was attacked by a kid and almost got hit. If this trick contains hockey, wouldn't it have really hit people hard, maybe they were killed directly. Thinking about it, Admiral, the alternate of naval headquarters, was almost killed by a kid. Kazaru felt very uncomfortable. At this moment, Kazaru was standing on the ground, his face remained unchanged, and there was still a wretched smile on the corner of his mouth, as if he would never change his temper. However, there was a flash of coldness in his eyes, with anger in his eyes, his heart was not as calm as it appeared on the surface, it was very turbulent. It can be seen that this sneak attack by Uchiha Obito really angered him, which was unprecedented in Kazaru's career as a marine. Thinking about it, one of the three admiral who was about to take office, was attacked by a kid and almost died. 
If he didn't kill Uchiha Obito, where would he put his old face on? In addition to the mission, when the idea of killing people started, this cold killing intent moved from the heart and continued to breed, and Kazaru's breath suddenly became slightly gloomy. At this time, the indifferent voice of the Lord God floated faintly from the void and reached Kazaru's ear. Ding! The second task of the main line of 363 is completed, the reincarnation Kazaru defeats the masked man, and the reward is 3000 points, the task can be covered, the reincarnation Kazaru continue to choose to complete the follow-up tasks. A total of 11,000 points will be rewarded, and a free treatment will be obtained. After the return, the treatment will start. Task Evaluation A Grade Ding! Reincarnation Kazaru, do you choose to return immediately? After the task is completed, the reincarnation can stay in the ninja world for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, the Lord God will be forced to return. Not going back, Kazaru chose to stay without hesitation. He asked the Lord God, if he killed the masked man within 10 minutes of staying, then the main task too will be corrected again and get 5000 points. No matter how you think about it, you have already hurt Uchiha Obito, and there is no danger. Even if you solve him easily, you can forget about your own concerns. And get more benefits, why not do it? Otherwise, this unpleasant feeling, Kazaru will bring back to his own world, the pimple has been left in the heart, and the depression will become a disease. Kazaru's eyes narrowed, and he jumped lightly, like a golden rainbow shooting straight away, rushing towards the direction Uchiha Obito flew away. At this time, Uchiha Obito's pupils shrank slightly, looking at Kazaru who came from the air, his heart was surging like a wave, and his face showed a look of surprise and disbelief. Yes, incomparably horrified, Uchiha Obito saw that his blow did not cause any injury to Kazaru, not even a single scar was left on Kazaru's body. Could it be that Super Shadow is that strong? Ahem, my dream, peace. Lin, I might have to come down to accompany you. I really miss you so much, I feel so tired. Seeing this scene, Uchiha Obito rested on the ground with one hand and covered his chest with the other. His face was ashen, his blood was gone, his heart fell to the bottom, his pupils darkened, dull and turbid. On Uchiha Obito's body, there was a blood hole the size of a thumb, not far from the heart, Madara and the bloodline flowed out continuously, and through the gap between the fingers, I could vaguely see the beating red heart, thumping. Without timely treatment, Uchiha Obito's body would not last long. You can almost hurt the old man, you are also something to be proud of. Next, let the old man give you a ride. In front of Uchiha Obito, Kazaru changed his laziness and wretchedness before, his eyes were extremely cold, and he said indifferently. It, Uchiha Obito smiled miserably, closed his eyes, and the memories of the past came to his mind, thinking of the graceful image in the picture, the smile like the spring breeze, the light and sweet voice. Kazaru slowly stretched out his finger towards Uchiha Obito, and a little far away, a golden beam of light shot out from his fingertips. Dash dash, this amazing streamer bloomed like a razor across the sky, lashing out, trying to hit Uchiha Obito's head. One hit kill, clang, a light and crisp sound came out, like the sound of golden iron symphony, echoing in the heaven and earth. Kindness. At this moment, Kazaru frowned slightly, his eyes were flickering, and he said, Who is your excellency? Why did you stop me? The cold voice questioned the person in front of him, but his heart was suddenly shocked, and the expression appeared. The color of vigilance. In this world, there are still people of this level. So strong. In front of Kazaru stood an old man, with a sturdy body, his eyes were half closed, his breath was vague, and his body was redundant. But it is undeniable that when the old man stood there, there was a faint loneliness on his body, a faint detachment, no imposing manner, and he looked like an ordinary person, with an indifferent face, as if he was above everything, overlooking the kind of dullness that came down. Every move is full of majesty, as if a supreme existence is coming and coming here again. If Kazaru doesn't pay attention, observation hockey is not activated, it is easy to ignore this person accidentally, as if there is no sense of existence, the world is abandoned, and the whole body is full of decay. One step into the gate of hell, there is only gas out, no gas in, old and dead guy. It was he who appeared out of nowhere and blocked Kayabu's laser. Kazaru's expression became serious, and he didn't dare to be careless in his heart. 
What kind of person has he provoked, and he actually dispatched such an old guy with such strength? This kind of person is definitely an immortal old man who has beaten the world for the first time, and has many trump cards, which is very difficult to deal with. Leon, who is in front of the window of the soul, had a happy expression on his face, and said with a light smile, you actually caught a big fish, Madara. Uchiha Madara is very strong, although not as powerful as in the original book, stepping into the six paths level, he did not have Rinnegan installed at this time, and his body did not have the peak state of his youth. Even so, it was a super shadow level, equivalent to Admiral, not a normal Admiral. Although Kazaru stepped into Admiral, he was younger and still short, but he did not have the invincibility of 5.9 over the generation. When the old and the young confront each other, it is not yet known who will win and who will lose. Uchiha Madara, seeing the old man in front of him, Uchiha Obito was shocked, and his face suddenly brightened, but he didn't expect that Madara-sama would actually take action for himself. But when he thought of Uchiha Madara's physical state, Uchiha Obito's joy flashed away again, and it was a little bitter. It's a fact that Uchiha Madara is invincible. However, it must also be equipped with equipment in its heyday. At that time, not to mention hanging the five shadows, even if the tailed beasts were all on top, they were not as good as Madara's one finger, planetary devastation, and turned the whole world. This is Madara's demeanor and his strength. Just as Kazaru was looking at Uchiha Madara, Uchiha Madara's eyes moved, and he was also looking at Kazaru, thinking and thinking. Although the man in the strange clothes in front of him was young, but a trace of momentum leaked from his body, but it was extremely astonishing, as vast as a river. It definitely has the strength beyond cage level, which is almost impossible to find in the ninja world. At the beginning, only Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama broke through this level. The two of them once overwhelmed the Sengoku era, were invincible, and defeated countless ninjas. And this Kazaru, who appeared out of thin air, has such strength, and has not yet spread a little fame, this is simply incredible, and Uchiha Madara has to be a little curious. Don't worry about me, a half-footed person, my subordinates did not intend to offend your excellency, and I apologize to you, but, give me a face, let him go, presumably after you seriously injured him, your anger has disappeared. Seeing this, Uchiha Madara raised his eyelids and gave Kazaru a light look, his cloudy eyes were dull, and said feebly. Hearing Uchiha Madara's vague answer, Kazaru frowned, but he felt dissatisfied and displeased. Let go of your sister. Are you 28 who you think you are? I am a dignified marine quasi-admiral, even if you are a strong man in this world, it counts as a few onions, why should I give you face, listen to you? Of course, these are the words of Kazaru's heart, and naturally he will not say it foolishly. Otherwise, it is estimated that the fight will start soon, and the last one will be played. For 5,000 points, offending a guy whose strength is not inferior to his own, isn't it worth it? Kazaru was silent for a while, thinking of the main god, about 5 minutes left before the forced return, then a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, and his eyes jumped again. Okay, but it depends on what kind of strength you have. It's worth giving you this face. Interesting, you're the first person who dares to talk to me like this, if that's the case, then let's have a contest and stop at it, how about it? Uchiha Madara's eyes flashed a gleam of light, the corners of his mouth raised, and he felt a little more interested. I really want to see what kind of strength this guy named Kazaru has. From the move, see if it is someone you are familiar with. Good. Kazaru laughed. Stay away. Uchiha Madara said to Obito behind him. Yes, my lord. Uchiha Obito single-handedly treated ninjutsu, forcibly suppressed the damage in his body, and then stayed far away, looking at the battlefield like a torch. Dark night. The moonlight is like water, the stars are few, and a cold wind blows. The two super shadows, in this battle, are once in a lifetime. After the battle of the valley of the end that shocked the world and shocked the ninja world, today there will be an unprecedented battle that is about to start. Kazaru and Uchiha Madara looked at each other and stood up abruptly. Whizzing. The two figures jumped up and shot almost at the same time, their movements were like lightning. Fire style. The fire is gone. Tiankong cloud sword. At this moment, the golden long sword and the scorching red flame that slowly bloomed, the moment of bombardment. 
The void shook violently, and a loud explosion of air burst out of thin air. Immediately, a whirlwind rolled up, ravaging the world, and swept the center of the battle between the two. Boom. The two collided together, and to outsiders, it was like a golden light and a black hurricane collided with each other. Landslides and earth cracks, the sky and the earth lose their color. The terrifying momentum was vast and boundless, rolling like a wave, and a force that destroyed the sky and the earth filled dozens of miles. The two rammed a dozen times again, the space was almost blown up, the ground collapsed, gravel splashed around, and all collapsed in a radius of several kilometers, turning into a rubble. During this period, watching Kazaru's continuous Muji ninjutsu, he was able to become elementalized and almost immune to all physical attacks. This strange ability is simply unimaginable in Uchiha Madara's heart, a strange look appeared in his eyes, and he murmured in his heart. What kind of ninjutsu is this? Is the speed of light in Kazaru's mouth a ninjutsu that controls light? Elementalization, this strange ability, is the bloodline limit. Or is the bloodline elimination? Uchiha Madara remembered that such a bizarre ability had never appeared in the ninja world, the power of master light, and no need for a seal, all of which made Madara's eyes a little bit of interest. At this time, Kazaru's face was dignified, and his body was also a little tired. In his opinion, the Uchiha Madara in front of him was no less powerful than the old Admiral Powerhouse. If it wasn't for his age, his body was too old. If, if he were younger, in his own world, Maybe Uchiha Madara's strength could be comparable to Martial Marine, or even a Four Emperor's level pirate. The world is not easy. I really don't know if there is a stronger guy. Kazaru looked at Uchiha Madara on the surface, but kept counting the time in his heart, until the last few seconds, his eyes lit up, then he raised his finger, pointed his fingertips at Uchiha Madara, and shot out a wrong shot. Taste. Uchiha Madara didn't care, tilted his head, dodged it all at once, and Kazaru's laser, Razor swam, walked like a normal, and continued to fly back. Boom! An explosion sounded, and the ground shook a few times. After seeing Uchiha Madara dodging his own attack, the ground exploded again, and a wretched smile suddenly appeared at the corner of Kazaru's mouth, his eyes narrowed like a crescent moon. What? No! This guy! 363 seeing Kazaru suddenly showing a wretched smile, there was a hint of contempt and smugness in his eyes, which made Uchiha Madara feel bad. When he looked back, he saw Uchiha Obito lying on the ground, bloodline dripping, and his whole body twitched, endlessly. You fool, I want you to die. Knowing that he was wanted, Uchiha Madara's eyes were furious, and his eyes were as cold as a sword. He wanted to tear Kazaru's body to pieces. The originally old face was terrifying like a demon, but he shouted loudly, waved his hands, and the corners of his mouth moved slightly. Fire style. Long Yan puts on a song technique. From Uchiha Madara's mouth, he spit out several fire dragons in an instant, inviting the dragon to dance in the sky, and the dragon roams and explores its claws. Every move is like a lifelike creature, and the ferocious and mighty movements are like a real fire dragon, hunting in the void. The fire dragon danced wildly, the hot breath spread, baking the world, and under the control of Uchiha Madara, the fire dragon rushed in the direction of Kazaru. Ding! Ten minutes have come, and the reincarnator, the yellow monkey, is forced to return. The familiar voice of the Lord God came from Kazaru's ear, and then, there was a twist in the space. A beam of white light that penetrated the sky fell, covering Kazaru, and then disappeared with a, beep. Silently. Before seeing Kazaru's return, he didn't forget to make up for Uchiha Obito. Seeing this, Leon smacked his tongue in his heart, this revenge is really heavy, just like a smiling tiger, the former and the latter, the two are so vicious. However, from Leon's point of view, it's better to be ruthless. Reincarnators naturally have to work hard to earn points and safeguard their own interests. In the task, to do big things, you should be informal. If you have interests, you can better control the reincarnators. It's just that Uchiha Obito can't just hang up like this. It doesn't fit my style before he drains his remaining value. Leon touched his chin subconsciously, and while he was pondering, he nodded thoughtfully, his eyes twinkling. Ninja World. Seeing Kazaru sneaking up on Uchiha Obito while he was unprepared, and then disappearing suddenly at the end. This series of actions was like flowing water, 
as if it had been planned for a long time. All this made Uchiha Madara's three corpses jump with rage, and the whole person was furious. No one had ever dared to plot against himself like this, playing with applause. And the big move that I was worried about just now, because of the sudden disappearance of Kazaru, it died suddenly. This air was stuck in Madara's chest, which was very aggrieved and depressed. Routines, all special routines. Can the world still believe it? Find an heir and complete the plan, it's easy for me. Bullying me an old man. Every time Uchiha Madara thinks of Kazaru, her signature wretched smile, she feels extremely unhappy and unhappy in her heart. Kazaru, you remember this account, sooner or later, you will have to pay it back. If this revenge is not repaid, I will not be named Uchiha. Uchiha Madara gritted her teeth bitterly. No matter who he is and how talented he is, Uchiha Madara has already hated Kazaru. If he seizes the opportunity, he will let Ban Kazaru know what it means to be good looking. This is also a big event that caused a sensation in the world of pirates in the future, and Kazaru once regretted it and should not provoke Uchiha Madara. At this moment, Uchiha Madara was in a state of anger, and his eyes were about to kill. He looked around in a chaotic manner, destroying it with a single burst. After the depression dissipated a lot, he ran towards Uchiha Obito. Before taking a few steps, a sudden change occurred. Am I? At this moment, a milky halo suddenly descended from the sky, covering Uchiha Obito's entire body. Seeing this familiar scene, Uchiha Madara was startled, which was exactly the scene where Kazaru was missing. Don't think about taking it away. Realizing what, Uchiha Madara shouted loudly, and even though he jumped, his hands protruded like tiger claws, bursting with energy, tearing apart the space, but his movements were one beat slower. With a flash of light, the figure disappeared, and Uchiha Madara didn't even catch half of Uchiha Obito's clothes, Kakuzu. When he stopped, Uchiha Madara couldn't help but utter a foul language, and the long-standing calm state of mind appeared a little restless, surging and surging like a river. This is the class's first and last scolding. Some people actually want to eat something like this over and over again. Kazaru, simply courting death. This is the same as Ulu teasing Kazaru at the beginning, but one is light and the other is heavy, and the two are not the same. At this moment, only Uchiha Madara was left around, standing there in a daze, his eyes spitting fire, his face gloomy, his fists clenched tightly, and he sighed heavily and left here. There is a bit of silence in the back. Far away in the magical world, Leon raised the corner of his mouth, revealing a deep smile. How can the big fish be spared, Uchiha Madara in his heyday, Leon really wants to see it, especially he wants to add some block to Kazaru. Calculating, calculating, the intrigue between the reincarnators is actually quite interesting. This can also divert the attention of some reincarnators, so as not to be suspicious of the origin of the Lord God, so that the investigation will continue. If you really keep exploring, it's a trivial trouble for Leon, but it's still annoying. Leon doesn't like trouble and finds trouble for himself. Shortly after Uchiha Madara left, the explosion died down, and some of Konoha's ninjas arrived, the third generation and fourth Hokage were long overdue. Seeing this scene of landslides and fissures, the ruins for several miles, almost spread the only way for Konoha, everyone fell silent, and their hearts were very heavy. Serutobi and Minato, they may have some suspicions in their hearts, but they are not sure, after all, the answer is too scary and hard to believe. Masked man, could it be Uchiha Madara? During the Battle of the End Valley, it was rumored that Uchiha Madara died of serious injuries after the battle with Senju Hashirama. During this period, it has gone through several decades, such a long period of time, who can live so long? Also, there is another ninja named Kazaru, whose origin is unknown. He doesn't even have any detailed information. He has never heard of ninja before, and he uses Mujin and Jutsu. Is all this a blessing or a curse for Konoha? An eventful autumn. This night, it was destined to be a sensation in the world, and the influence was deep. In the ninja world, the situation resurfaced, and Yuki snake gods from all walks of life ran out one after another. After the Third Ninja World War, the biggest thing that happened. The country was shocked and the world knew it. Konoha hit hard. During the Nine Tails riot, it was suspected that Uchiha Madara was haunted, and there was an unknown Kazaru, and the two sides experienced a big battle. 
The whole thing was uproarious good Wang Hao, and all of a sudden the water in the ninja world was turned upside down. Some people sneered and didn't say a word, or some people ignored them, or some people raised eyebrows coldly, planning something. All in all, Konoha was injured this time, and it was a joy for every big country and every ninja village. Konoha has always been the leader of the five ninja villages, and Hokage is even more pressing on the heads of the other four shadows. For a long time, they have long been unhappy in their hearts, knowing that this happened to Konoha. It was just about clapping, and the banquet was held for three days and three nights without getting drunk. Cough cough. Of course, the face is still to be given. Afterwards, the major ninja villages sent people to Konoha to greet him, but it is not known whether it is sincere, or if he is down. A bunch of old foxes. And the final result of Nine Tails, it goes without saying, is the same experience as ever. Everyone took advantage of Nine Tails two or three hours later, when they were out of breath and their legs were weak, they all shot together and suppressed the weak Nine Tails in one fell swoop. Later, the Nine Tails were resealed in the body of the Uzumaki family, that is, the body of Namikaze Minato's newly born son, Naruto. In honor of his wife, Naruto's name also followed his mother's surname and was named Uzumaki Naruto. There are some differences from the original, because of Kazaru's intervention, Namikaze Minato did not die, but after the incident, his wife Kashina was brutally killed, causing Namikaze Minato to be disheartened and unhappy all the time. During this time as fourth Hokage, Namikaze Minato was even more powerless to handle some affairs. The leader of Anbu, Shimura Danzo, saw this opportunity, along with Mitokato Homura of Konoha, Kaharu and other high-level officials, jumped out, accused Namikaze Minato, and jointly dismissed the post of fourth Hokage on the grounds of poor state. The whole thing, Namikaze Minato resigned and did not resist, watching all this with a cold eye watching the noisy high-level discussions like a vegetable market, but his heart was dead ashes. You must know that when Nine Tails ran wild that night, many people took advantage of the fisherman's benefits, taking advantage of Minato, Nine Tails, and the masked man fighting each other, and they kept holding back. If it wasn't for Kazaru's sudden attack, I'm afraid everyone would have to wait until the end to stand up 367. Even so, a group of ninjas, except for third Hokage, convened some members of the major clans, it was long overdue, and there was not much high-level support for Namikaze Minato. Especially Anbu, you must know that this is Konoha's guard team, and as a result, not even a shadow or fart has been seen. Of course, there may be, but the number is so small that it can't make much of a difference. For Namikaze Minato, I am very disappointed, and it is expressed in one sentence, I treat Kun sincerity, Kun treats me how. I, Namikaze Minato, have done so much for Konoha, I don't know how much I have done, but how did you guys do it, treat me like this. This is simply to kill the donkey, a group of Konoha executives united to target fourth Hokage's oppression and put it down. At the same time, this also made Namikaze Minato blame the death of his wife to Konoha. Facing Konoha's top management, he was very unhappy and full of resentment, and he was completely disappointed with everything. Whether it was a power and position transaction, or fishing in troubled waters, there was no interest at all. Stay away from this smoky power struggle and abdicate, without losing a good thing, but also in a leisurely time. With this in mind, Namikaze Minato quickly resigned from the position of 4th Hokage, and the 3rd Hokage Sarutobi was once again in charge of Konoha. Namikaze Minato lives alone on the edge of the village with his son Uzumaki Naruto, and supports his son as a father and mother live a quiet, semi-reclusive life. Since Namikaze Minato is not dead, the rumors of nine tails in the village, with the intentional guidance of Danzo and third Hokage, do not point to Uzumaki Naruto. Just find a reason to fool the common people of Konoha, as for the ninja, it is a warning and not allowed to spread. Violators. Die. Nonsense, with the backing of Namikaze Minato, whoever dares to provoke casually, it is really an old birthday star who eats arsenic and seeks death. Besides, Namikaze Minato was already dissatisfied with the dismissal of Si Hokage as his replacement. If he did something out of the ordinary, he would really tear his face. The consequences could be disastrous. A dark cave. The icy ground is slightly damp, and the breathing is very dull in the small space, as if the air cannot flow out. 
The figure of that building, sitting on a chair, is Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara has been full of anger since the suffocating first battle, and couldn't let it out. Thinking of his own identity, he was actually asked by a junior, which made his face worthless. A deep sigh came from Uchiha Madara from the cave. There was a hint of loneliness in his voice, how high-spirited Madara was, and his combat power was unparalleled, overwhelming a generation of ninjas. No one is not afraid of their own three points. But after all, it is a guy who has not been spared by the years and half-footed. This body can't hold up for a few days, and maybe he will die someday. Tomorrow, or today, in the magical world, after Leon said Uchiha Obito is a reincarnator, under coercion and inducement, he threw him into the world of Fullmetal Alchemist to complete the task. And Obito didn't believe at first when he learned that the Lord God has the ability to resurrect people, but after seeing that his injuries were healed in an instant, he then traveled to another world different from ninjas. The worldview has been changed. Obito has completely believed in the Lord God in his heart. He has the ability to penetrate the sky and the earth, so he spared no effort to actively complete the Lord God's task. In order to resurrect Lin, for love, he can do anything. Seeing this, Leon smiled, and with expectation, the reincarnator has motivation. The ability to resurrect life is not fake, but it will cost a lot of points. According to different strengths, there are more or less points. Afterwards, Leon fixed his gaze on Uchiha Madara and set it up as a reincarnator. Ding! The setting is successful, the target identity has been changed to a reincarnator, and the tasks related to it have been cancelled. Now you can view the attribute status of Uchiha Madara, the reincarnator. Quote. Open black lens bracket name, Uchiha Madara. Open black lens bracket age, 87 years old. Comprehensive strength. Between S and S plus, super cage level, the body does not reach the peak of the Dian state, estimated half step six paths in the heyday, among the old S plus level powerhouses, in the leader. Quote. Skills. Fire style fire extinguishing, fire style dust hidden, Suzano, three tomo sharingan, ghetto statue, wood style the arrival of the tree world, wood style mulong technique. Equipment. Flame fan, scythe, kanai. Potential. SS plus. Leon's face is thoughtful, Madara is indeed Madara, this talent is far more terrifying than Ulu. If it weren't for the age limit, Madara's entire strength should be equivalent to the martial level or four emperors level of the pirate world. The two realms are equal, Marine likes to call them marshals, and pirates are four emperors. Kazaru is also bullying old Madara. When he was young, Madara could definitely beat Kazaru severely. While Madara was pondering the origin of Kazaru, suddenly, an indifferent voice sounded in the dark and desolate environment. Ding! Congratulations to Uchiha Madara for becoming a reincarnator, you have been selected to be a part of the reincarnation space. Starting from today, you will experience various tasks and reincarnations in the endless world. Here, you will encounter various dangers. Similarly, as long as you keep fighting, you may reach the sky in one step and get what you want. Everything, earned quest points, can be exchanged for anything you need in the main god mall, whether it is power or a long lifespan. Even resurrecting the dead, hearing the voice, Uchiha Madara was startled, but he never thought that someone was here, and he didn't even notice it. However, after hearing the mysterious voice, Madara sneered twice, and asked in a suddenly aged voice. Joke, how can there be such a thing in the world, who are you? There was a hint of sarcasm in Uchiha Madara's eyes, and he didn't believe the nonsense of the people around him at all, or he really thought he was naive and easily deceived by others. After taking a loss from Kazaru, Madara also kept a little more prudence. I am old in Uchiha Madara, but it does not mean that I am easy to bully. You can call me the main god, or you can call me the master of the plane. The Lord God said unhurriedly, and in the light tone, there seemed to be a majesty that surpassed the heavens, the taste of eternity. Now that, Uchiha Madara's eyes flickered, but she was indifferent on the surface, and it was unknown what she was thinking. Returning to that youth can be achieved by rejuvenation. Madara laughed lightly, not knowing whether she was laughing at the Lord God or at herself. Invincible. Supremacy. He once possessed a mighty power that rivaled gods and demons, and he was proud of the world, but so what, he was not lost to the years in the end. Time flows like water, and no one is immune to it. 
Time. This is a level that mortals can't touch, unless they can step into a higher realm, six paths, or beyond six paths. Step into the realm of true immortality. After getting old, I have been trying a lot to create some truly immortal ninjutsu, or secret techniques, so that I can regain my youth. But they all fail without exception, and none of them are truly immortal methods without side effects. I think that Orochimaru was also the method of immortality, and it has been researching secretly, and even improved the reincarnation of the earth, and finally created the flawed longevity technique and the ability to regenerate quickly. One can imagine the difficulty of the master's time. Now, a self-proclaimed master god who hides his head and shows his tail dares to brag, saying that he is omnipotent, and as long as he spends his points, he can be exchanged for everything he wants. Immortality. Real resurrection of the dead. What a big tone, it's ridiculous. A smile appeared on Madara's mouth, and her heart was full of contempt. Just rejuvenate and rejuvenate, and you can live forever. The Lord God said coldly, and there was no emotional change because of Madara's contempt. The power of the Lord God is omnipotent, only you can't think of it, there is nothing you can't do. The next moment, a transparent screen appeared in front of Uchiha Madara. Looking at the light curtain of the Lord God Maul that appeared out of thin air, Uchiha Madara was stunned, the words he wanted to say were held in his stomach, and he was silent for a while, and the waves of the sky suddenly rolled up in his heart. Shocked, so full of shock. Is this illusion? I carefully browsed the items on the screen, or the props, or the bloodline. Some have heard of it, and some have never heard of it. Real or fake? At this moment, Madara fell into a long period of contemplation. There are many exchange options neatly listed on the screen, among which there are a lot of things that can be exchanged for lifespan and immortality. The points needed to exchange items, the points can be obtained through the tasks issued by the Lord God, or by uploading useful items such as ninjutsu cheats, weapons and props, and the number of points varies according to the level of division. Seeing Uchiha Madara's shocked expression, his heart was also swaying, Leon's thoughts moved, and he continued to be puzzled. In order to establish the main god space, we must seize the opportunity of Uchiha Madara and slaughter it fiercely. After all, it is a big fat sheep, and Leon will not give up without a few layers of skin. Can this so-called master god with great powers really rejuvenate people, or even immortalize them? There is no doubt that Uchiha Madara is heartbroken. If it's true, then you can try it too, be cautious, and you can't eat anything. He did what he said, and by now, Ban was deeply disgusted by his old posture. If it weren't for the plan, Madara even wanted to take off the skin and die. Rather than continue to linger, it is better to give it a try. After a while, the Lord God's continuous prompting sound sounded. Upload B-level ninjutsu, fire style huo huo extinction, reward 150 points. Upload A-level ninjutsu, fire style long yin feng song technique, and reward 300 points. Upload S rank ninjutsu, fire style dust hidden, reward 600 points. Upload S class ninjutsu, Uchiha Madara, as the patriarch of the Uchiha clan, has a Sharingan who is a plug-in. In his life, he copied an unknown amount of ninjutsu, and the number is almost unmatched. Even Uchiha Madara himself cannot count the number of ninjutsu he possesses. What's more, the ninjutsu that can be admired by Banye is not comparable to ordinary ninjutsu, at least he doesn't bother to upload ninjutsu below the B level, that level of ninjutsu is too scumbag, and he is not worthy of work at all. Father's identity. Just in terms of luck, one of the reincarnations of the most charismatic supervillains in the ninja world, the reincarnation of the previous Indra, as the later Ten Tails Jinchuriki, hangs five shadows with one hand and suppresses the ninja coalition with one finger. Invincible posture, peerless come. As expected of Senju Hashirama, known as the, god of ninja world, he is an equally terrifying existence. In the entire ninja world, there are few characters whose luck can surpass Uchiha Madara, which is also the charm, and Madara is even more impressive. When Uchiha Madara stopped uploading ninjutsu moves, his points skyrocketed to 30,000 points. It's really worth it. Seeing this scene, Leon couldn't help sighing in his heart because of the huge number above. He deducted half of it, but the actual score was as high as 60,000. Plus the remaining points, it was more than enough to create a reincarnation space. 
After thinking for a while, the corner of Leon's mouth suddenly twitched, and then his eyes flickered, doubling the selling price of all rejuvenating items. He found that there are still some bad management in the main god mall. It is still too kind to be the main god by himself, and the squeeze is not thorough enough. Those who reincarnate can get hive points by uploading whatever they want, and this goes on. Even if the vision was small at the beginning, if the 367 didn't change the purchase ratio in time, it really didn't meet Leon's interests, otherwise he wouldn't earn many points. Leon put it in one sentence, my mall, I call the shots. In other words, you didn't discuss it. Don't blame me. Anyway, from Leon's point of view, Uchiha Madara's arrogant character doesn't care whether the exchange that can prolong life is expensive or not, but only sees whether it is worth it. It is precisely because of this idea that Leon didn't know how many reincarnations he had hoarded and how many points he had accumulated. Little did he know that the cause of all this came from Uchiha Madara's desire to exchange things for life extension. The worst start. Being idle is also idle. Leon decided to increase the exchange rate of the main god mall again, taking advantage of the fact that there are few people, few reincarnations will notice. For the ninjutsu cheats, props and items uploaded by the reincarnator, the main god is still at a ratio of 1, 2 of the original price. Generally, the S-level ninjutsu recognized by the system is worth 1200 points, and the main god will only give the reincarnator half of the points, which is 600 points. It's just that Leon has increased the prices of the items sold in the main god mall several times. Reincarnators of the same world buy items from the exclusive world at a ratio of 1, 4, while the other worlds are swapped at a ratio of 1, 8. It is an S-rank ninjutsu with a usual 1200 points. When a reincarnator in the same world wants to buy it, it needs to spend 4800 points, while a reincarnator in other worlds, such as the strong in the magic world or the pirate world, when buying ninjutsu, it will cost 10,600 points. Special types of redemption, such as life-saving items such as death-free gold medals, or lost magical inheritance, and devil fruit, and some bloodlines, the price is also the same. Except for the items purchased by the reincarnators, such as the inheritance of the ice dragon slayer magic bought by Ulu. At that time, even if those reincarnators found a slight difference when they exchanged items, they were dissatisfied with the lewd power and oppression of the Lord God, but in the end they were helpless. No matter how arrogant and opinionated all the reincarnators are, in order to survive, they have to obediently take out their points and grit their teeth to buy weapons and props from the Lord God Maul. Leon calculated to death, firmly grasped the lives of all the reincarnators, and was not afraid that someone would praise the points. Even if it is really unnecessary, when the Lord God finds a way to kill the reincarnators, those points will fly to Leon's bowl obediently. Also save the reincarnator to exchange items. After the class finished uploading the ninjutsu, he checked it carefully, and finally selected an item from it, no more or no less, just spent all his points. Madara is also a big spender. He has the temperament of a local tyrant. He doesn't care about the squandering of points. In his opinion, it's just a number. Nope, uploading ninjutsu. During this period, Uchiha Madara kept his hand. Because of the uploaded ninjutsu, Madara has only accumulated about half of the numbers. After so many years, Madara also collects a lot of ninjutsu, which are extremely taboo and powerful. After I have tried the true and false of the main god, I will consider it and upload the rest of the ninjutsu. Click on the main god mall to exchange what is in front of you, and suddenly a glass bottle appeared out of thin air in Uchiha Madara's hand. Name. Which is Rejuvenation Medicine S10. Level. S level item. Quote. Price. 30,000 points. Quote. Background knowledge. It comes from the product of the island of greed in the world of full-time hunters. It has the ability to rejuvenate and rejuvenate. Every time you take a pill, you will be one year younger, and the knowledge and memory of the user will not be affected by the drug, and some changes occur. Taking pills that exceed your age will result in sudden death. Note, please carefully take the appropriate amount of medicine according to your age before taking it, 100 capsules per bottle. Uchiha Madara took a long breath, then opened the bottle cap without hesitation, then poured out half of the pills and swallowed them all in one breath, with a rosy complexion without panting. Whether we can return to youth depends on whether what the Lord God said is true or false. 
Waiting quietly for a few seconds, the witch's rejuvenation medicine worked. Life is restored. Rejuvenate. Suddenly, Lord Madara's withered body seemed to be bathed in sweet rain on a long drought earth, and it suddenly regained its vitality, and a surging vitality spread throughout Madara's body. Madara couldn't help but let out an exclamation. Refreshing. Pleasure. It's like doing, loving, although there is no wife, but that feeling is innate, it seems to come from the depths of the soul. The vitality, like Wang Yang, turned into silky spring rain, and the pores of the skin washed away layer by layer, dipping into the limbs and bones, wandering in the meridians. Like reversing time, Madara's white hair turned black, the wrinkles were smoothed out, and the skin like white jade was restored. The body is even more straight as loose. The dead energy dissipated, and all aspects of the body rushed towards the direction of youth. In an instant, Madara's appearance changed from old age to middle age, from middle age to youth, and finally from youth to teenager. What? It seems that the pills are swallowed too much, and the effect is a bit fierce. But fortunately, he finally recovered from an old man who was dying in Kuchiki, and turned back into the once ruthless teenager. At this moment, there was a trace of joy in Uchiha Madara's eyes, and his heart was surging. He looked at his hands, like jade, without a trace of old folds, and clenched them tightly. Power, what a terrible power. Infinitely general. Uchiha Madara only felt that his flawless body, as if he could tear the void with his bare hands, push it horizontally, and force it to open up a mountain. The aura around the body is more than several times stronger than the original rotten posture, and it is boundless. Wow wow, with Madara's feet as the center, layers of white whirlwind swept out like waves, and the robes he was wearing fluctuated and squeaked. The black hair blew down from behind Madara's shoulders, the roots were crystal clear, and contained a trace of terrifying energy, a trace of black hair could cut through ordinary weapons. Feel the body full of vitality, the endless rivers and rivers. Ha ha ha. Uchiha Madara laughed and laughed very happily. It has been decades, and it has been a long time since she laughed as smoothly as it is today. I am very happy. There is no doubt that he has returned to youth, and his body has been sublimated, and his abilities and aspects have improved a lot. It's even better. Humph. If that Kazaru dares to come again, watch me Uchiha Madara not hang and beat him into a dead dog. In my plan, seeing this scene through the window of the soul, Leon looked at Uchiha Madara's wild smile, and he almost wrote a few words on his face to express it. The corner of his mouth twitched a few times, a little unnatural, and then shook helplessly. Shaking his head. Leon probably knew what Madara was thinking. After all, few people who have seen Hokage don't know what Uchiha Madara thinks. Poor child paper, I am afraid that until now, I don't know that I have lived in the deception woven by others in my life. Sad. Can blow. No matter how beautiful you are, you are not playing a chess piece on someone else's chessboard, licking black Zetsu's footbath, and doing things for him obediently. Lord Madara is very charming and has a lot of personality. Leon still admires him, but he is just a little bit unlucky. If you let Madara know the inside story of the whole thing, I'm afraid. Ah, Black Zetsu is going to be miserable. Thinking of this, Leon's eyes flickered, and he seemed to be able to do something. Anyway, the plot of Hokage was dispensable to him. When he accumulated more points in the future, he could create countless parallel spaces in the world of Hokage. Hey hey. At this moment, Leon's mouth showed a meaningful smile. That's a wicked smirk. At this time, Black Zetsu, who was hiding near the underground cave, was afraid of being found not too close to Uchiha Madara. He looked at Madara from a distance from a distance. Although his vision was a little blurry, his body shape was still very clear. Suddenly, Black Zetsu shuddered all over, looked up and looked around, his face sullen. Delusion. After finding nothing, keep staring at Uchiha Madara. A few days ago, there was a terrible Nine Tails runaway incident in Konoha. Black Zetsu is very aware of this, especially when a powerful ninja named Kazaru suddenly appeared, overpowering Nine Tails and competing with Uchiha Madara, no less. This makes Black Zetsu very different. When was there such a terrifying figure in the ninja world? Black Zetsu thinks that he has a news network all over the ninja world, and he can find any kind of information at his fingertips. However, this time Black Zetsu miscalculated and didn't find any information about Kazaru's news at all. 
You can't even find your identity, ninjutsu, or residence. As if Kazaru is not a person from this world, it suddenly fell from the sky, came in a hurry, and went in a hurry. Very mysterious. Since that day, Obito has also been lost, as Black Zetsu thinks that Uchiha Obito may be dead because he didn't see the battle with his own eyes. At that time, Black Zetsu sighed for a long time. It's a pity that there is a good piece, Black Zetsu still wanted to tune it for some time and control it better. Since then, Uchiha Madara has been black-faced, and during this period, White Zetsu has been sent in and out to inquire about the news of Kazaru. Until now, there has been no news, and White Zetsu has not returned. Black Zetsu was extremely puzzled, but he was worried about the existence of that Kazaru and ran out to disrupt his plans. That would be troublesome. Taking advantage of his free time, Black Zetsu came here and stayed by his side to see what would happen to him. For a moment, Black Zetsu raised his head and aimed his gaze at the inside of the cave. There was a burst of hearty laughter, followed by waves of terrifying momentum, condensed and substantiated, like a turbulent wave. What? Seeing this, don't worry, it almost made Black Zetsu's eyeballs pop out, staring wide, his chin resting. The whole person was dumbfounded. The capitalization is maddening. What was in his heart was even more shocked for several streets, and he was a little breathless. This, is this what happened? Uchiha Madara, how did he regain his youth, did he step into the 6367th level? This is not scientific. Flames flickered in Black Zetsu's eyes, flickering. Uchiha Madara nodded with satisfaction, then the laughter gradually ceased, and the majestic aura restrained her body. Ban stood up. His eyes were once again without waves, and the stars were flowing, like a star. Now that he has returned to his peak state, he does not need to make painstaking arrangements anymore. Without his old rival Senju Hashirama, with his current strength, no one in the ninja world can stop him. Retrieve the Rinnegan, capture all the tailed beasts, and complete the, Eye of the Moon, plan. The world will be at peace forever. And all this is the prosperous home created by my Uchiha Madara. While Uchiha Madara was contemplating, at this moment, Leon interrupted Uchiha Madara's thoughts unkindly, and the Lord God issued a task. The indifferent voice of the Lord God sounded, saying, Start to issue the novice task, please pay attention to the reincarnator Uchiha Madara. The next second, the system mall flashed suddenly, and the subtitles changed. Ding. The novice task is as follows. Current world. Ninja world. Quote. Mission Introduction. Rain Shinobi Village, the village chief Hanzo of the Salamander sent this group of ninjas to hunt down a new armed force in the country of Rain. Its leader Yahiko, Uzumaki Nagato, and members led by Konan were plotted by Rain Shinobi. With its devastating blows, none of the ten members survived. Closing parenthesis. Main Quest 1. Ensure the safety of Yahiko, Uzumaki Nagato, Conan, avoid the killing of Hanzo of the Salamander, and reward 1000 points. For each additional member saved by the Reincarnator, an additional 50 points will be added, with no upper limit. Quote. Main Quest 2. Kill the Cage Level Powerhouse, Hanzo of the Salamander, reward 600 points, and bring a secret history of the ninja world. Quote. Determine the killing mission, kill a Genin and reward 50 points. Kill a Chunin, reward 150 points, kill a Jonin, reward 300 points. Mission failed, deduct 3000 points, if the points are insufficient, execute the obliteration. Close black lens bracket. Task time limit, 1 day. Quote, Uchiha Madara from round 367, do you accept the mission? The Lord God asked coldly. Kindness. Seeing the words written on this transparent light curtain, a cold chill appeared in Uchiha Madara's eyes. I was so happy for a while that I almost forgot the master. Lord God, is this your real purpose? Thinking of this, Uchiha Madara's eyes jumped, his energy skyrocketed, and his face became a little dignified. In the face of the mysterious and unpredictable main god, Uchiha Madara, who had regained his youth, had a strong sense of fear against the main god in his heart. Be afraid, be vigilant. After a while, Madara's brows immediately wrinkled slightly, as if thinking of something, her cheeks creased tightly, a little gloomy. Wait, shouldn't the original Kazaru also be a member of this so-called bullshit reincarnation? And Uchiha Obito, was also chosen by the Lord God to be a reincarnator. 
Only in this way can we explain why the two mysteriously disappeared, but I couldn't find any clues. Thinking of this, Uchiha Madara was silent for a while, then chuckled, since the main god wants to do what he wants, why not cooperate first and see what tricks he wants. In this quest, Uzumaki Nagato, it's time to get those eyes back. I accept. As soon as Uchiha Madara's voice fell, he suddenly felt an invisible force enveloped his whole body, a flash of white light, and he had already disappeared in place. On the side Black Zetsu's deep pupils looked at Madara who had suddenly disappeared, his expression stunned, and then he walked out with a dazed look on his face. What the hell happened? After a while of work, how come? Gone. Black Zetsu's pupils showed confused and innocent little eyes, feeling that his plan seemed to have changed unexpectedly. An uncontrollable variable. In this regard, Black Zetsu was extremely puzzled. Obviously the class is about to die of old age, obviously the next step is to develop according to my plan. So special. For the first time, Black Zetsu felt a deep disgust from the world. This script does not play cards according to the routine. Rain Country. A perennially war-torn and chaotic land, it has always been ruled by Rain Shinobi Village. It is also in the ninja world except Konoha Village, Kurigakur, Cloud Shinobi Village, Sheian Village, and Iwagakur Five Shadow Villages. So far, Safai, it is the sixth largest force after the Five Shadows Village. Right here, there is a person with terrifying strength, and his name is unknown to everyone in the ninja world. His every move will attract the attention of the major forces, stomping and stomping the terrifying powerhouse that will shock the entire ninja world. After Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, he is known as one of the strongest ninjas at present, and a big man standing at the top of the ninja world. Him, Hanzo of the Salamander, a ninja known as, the demigod of the ninja world. At this moment, the dark sky, gloomy and dark clouds drifted, covering the entire country of rain. It was raining lightly, pattering, splashing a layer of white mist, like an embroidered veil, and the vision in the rain also blurred. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. In the forest on the northwest side, there are quite a few figures moving quickly in the forest, and one of them is a ninja with a particularly prominent temperament, and his body is extremely fierce. There is also a hint of coercion from the superior, mixed in. He is the leader of Rain Shinobi, Hanzo of the Salamander. Call. I saw a black-robed figure standing in front of Hanzo out of thin air, and then the ninja bowed his head on his knees and said respectfully, Boss, we have now found the traces of Yahiko, Nagato and others, and they are surrounded by us. Yeah, well done. Hanzo said lightly, his face did not waver, but in the next second, a strange color flashed in his eyes, and then he looked into the depths of the forest. Boom. The bursts of explosions sounded like thunder, smashing through the white rain curtain, and the earth shook violently. It is conceivable that the location of the explosion was very close. Oops. At this moment, Yahiko, Nagato, Conan and others looked around, their pupils shrank slightly, and the corners of their mouths turned bitter. At this time, Rain Shinobi emerged one by one from the dense forest, and then surrounded them in groups, forming a pinch attack, with three layers inside and three layers outside. There are a few hundreds of Rain Shinobi, especially Chunin. This is probably the biggest crisis in the history of Yahiko et al., since the organization was founded. From the comprehensive pursuit of Rain Shinobi, especially the ninja demigod, Hanzo of the Salamander himself. The rainforest is murderous, and the forest is cold and boundless. The gathered Rain Shinobi troops all looked at Yahiko, Conan and the others as if they were looking at their prey, with malicious smiles on their faces, and cold murderous intent in their eyes. Shutong. Big Jouden technique. Water style. Booming water waves. Water style. Hard eddy water jet. Living in the land of rain, most rain shinobi are best at water ninjutsu, especially in such rainy weather. The power of the water ninjutsu displayed increased by three points. In an instant, the space shook violently, and hundreds of water-based ninjutsu fused together, water jets, water uzumaki, water columns, and dragons sucking water. A large number of attacks formed an incomparably huge blue horse training, like a river through the sky, gathered together and covered the sky, which was very terrifying. Suddenly, the monstrous water flow crashed down, like a waterfall torrent, and the trees on the left and right sides collapsed towards the middle. Yahiko and the others were terrified and were about to act. 
At this time, a black figure appeared in the middle of the two sides with a sound of flavor, and also properly stopped the actions of Nagato, Yahiko and others. With a flash in his eyes, Uchiha Madara then came to an unfamiliar place. Madara, who had no time to think about it, looked at the huge water curtain that was about to fall in front of him, and frowned. Someone wants to kill himself. No, how can such a power hurt me, don't tell me. Uchiha Madara's eyes narrowed, and he glanced behind him. After seeing Nagato's figure, he understood a little. Late, that's it, it looks like it's just the right time for me to come out. Uchiha Madara smiled faintly, waved his hand, and an invisible wall of air formed in an instant, about three or four inches in size, just enough to protect the people behind him. Immediately afterwards, he jumped up, stood in midair, and threw a punch under him, chakra erupted, and his fist hit the air. White cracks appeared in this mirror-like space, and several slender cracks spread around, and a violent fist roared out, as if driving straight in, hitting the huge boundless water curtain. Boom. The wind and clouds were turbulent, the energy erupted, and the water flowed into cracks. Looking down from the top, in an instant, it was as if the sky had collapsed, the fist was stirring the air invisible, and a powerful force ripped apart the water curtain, like a piece of paper, torn apart. The water curtain turned into a torrent, falling in all directions. Boom! Many ninjas were suddenly hit by their own attacks and engulfed in the monstrous water, and some rain shinobi had bad luck and were strangled like a rain curtain. With Madara's blow, rain shinobi's side killed at least 80 people, and the number of people was reduced by nearly a quarter. The scarlet blood stained the water and washed the ground. The surrounding trees fell in pieces, showing an arc, and within 100 meters, they were completely destroyed, and the damage was unimpressive. Afterwards, Uchiha Madara slowly fell, her indifferent eyes, as if she was unmoved by her surroundings. Behind him, Yahiko, Nagato and other members were unscathed, and everyone looked at everything around them with a startled face. The rain shinobi, who were still murderous just now, surrounded themselves and others, were like reservoir dogs, in a state of embarrassment. At this moment, a trace of curiosity and doubt appeared in their hearts. Who is he? Why help us? The rain shinobi troop who escaped this blow shrank slightly and stepped back quite a distance, looking at the boy standing in the center of the battlefield in horror, showing a hint of fear. Whoosh! Several more ninjas came out of the forest, one of them was Hanzo, the leader of Rain Shinobi. A strong smell of blood came to his face. He looked around and frowned slightly. What happened? Hanzo scolded coldly, his eyes swept away, no one dared to look directly at Hanzo and answer Hanzo's question. Hanzo was not sad for the deaths and injuries of his subordinates. In his opinion, these people were all his subordinates, puppies who carried out orders. If he dies, he will die, and he will cultivate a few after that. Anyway, he is not short of that resource. Hanzo was furious that his own ninjas had killed and injured so many people even though a mere group of humble bugs had been severely injured. A bunch of rice buckets. Useless guy, how can the old man raise some waste? The leader, sir, it wasn't Yahiko and the others who did it, it was the boy who did it. It suddenly appeared out of nowhere. We are not opponents at all. One of them, Rain Shinobi, said with a trembling body, lowered his head and dared not look directly at Hanzo's cold eyes. Night. At that moment, that Rain Shinobi only felt a murderous aura wrapped around him, as if falling into an ice cave, and his heart was in his throat. Hanzo frowned slightly. He didn't think any subordinate who didn't know whether to live or die dared to deceive him, he was curious, looked up, and looked at the flipping figure standing in the center of the battlefield, with a black long gown, a cold face, a youthful expression on his face. The face, as if 14 or 5 years old, was somewhat familiar. Point zero. Note. Lord Madara has taken so much of the witch's rejuvenating medicine that he is now in a juvenile posture. However, Hanzo didn't care, there were many familiar people, and it wasn't a big fuss to say where he had seen it before. If Hanzo knew that the person in front of him was Uchiha Madara, who is as famous as Senju Hashirama, the god of the ninja world, he would have fled in fright. Said to be a demigod, how can it be compared with the real god of ninja world, even if it is a step away, it is like a moat. At this time, the surviving rain shinobi came to the Hanzo side in unison, standing in front of Madara and the others, their eyes showing a cold meaning. 
Some rain shinobi's eyes flickered with playfulness. No matter how strong the young man was, he could still rival the demigod of the ninja world, their leader Hanzo. With, you're dead, eyes, he looked at Uchiha Madara viciously. As everyone knows, they are about to be in trouble. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.